Hey guys, I am Dr. Crad. I'm an ophthalmologist in Orange County, California. You might be having cataract surgery soon or a family member might be having cataract sur surgery soon and there are so many lens implants to choose from and today I wanted to share you my process and how I choose a lens. This video is not sponsored. There are other great lenses available beyond the ones I talk about today, but I did want to share you my favorites as we come to an end in 2022. So when determining what lens implant to choose, the first thing I want to ask a patient is, do you want to maximize the quality of your vision or do you want to maximize your independence from reading glasses? Which one is more important to you? If you had to choose A plus quality vision, but still need reading glasses or A minus quality vision, but not use reading glasses, which one would you pick? Let's put insurance aside. Let's put cost aside. If I had a gift basket of lenses and they were all free, would you rather have A plus quality vision but still need reading glasses or would you rather have A minus quality vision and not use readers? And there's no perfect lens implant. That's why we have to choose. Otherwise, everyone would just get the perfect lens implant. You come in for surgery, here's the perfect lens implant. But that's just not the case. We have to choose from what's available. So that makes me separate the lenses into two categories. In the maximum quality vision category, my first place lens is the light adjustable lens. The light adjustable lens is the most precise lens implant available. More patients achieve 20-20 vision into the distance without glasses compared to any other lens on the market. So if you're a candidate for the light adjustable lens, that would be my first choice. A plus distance vision, A plus nighttime vision, if you're a candidate for the light adjustable lens, I highly recommend it as long as you're okay with readers. Number two in this list is a astigmatism reducing lens. We call them toric lenses. And for 2022, I love the iHance toric lens. This lens by J&J, it helps reduce astigmatism, which is an irregularity in the way your eye focuses light, thereby helping improve your quality of vision with that astigmatism down. And it also gives a little bit of depth of focus. So it gives you really good distance vision. Some people are able to see the computer as well without glasses, but it's not super consistent in that. Um, but this lens is fantastic for people with astigmatism. And if you don't have astigmatism, then I would go to number three in this list, which is a basic monofocal lens. And for me, I love the iHance lens again, but this is the non-toric version, the non-astigmatism reducing version. So these are the lenses that I would consider if you're okay with using readers. If you really want to avoid using glasses, including reading glasses, but are okay with a slight degradation in quality of vision from like A plus to A minus, then I would consider a lens from this list here. The first lens is a multifocal lens. It's a trifocal lens, and this happens to be my favorite at the moment. And this is the Clarion Panoptics lens. This is a trifocal lens that helps focus things far, intermediate, and near. This lens has some halos at night, but for most people, they say it's mild to moderate and it doesn't bother them. And over time, you adapt and you get used to it. And it's not a huge deal for most people. If you really wanted to minimize the chance of you having halos at night, but still wanted to get good depth of vision, I would consider then the Vividi lens, which is number two on this list. This is an extended depth of focus lens has good far and computer vision. Not as great reading vision as the panoptics, but it has less halos at night. So there's, there are advantages and disadvantages of each lens. Now there are ways to get a lens from this list, the max quality of vision and not use readers. And that's to um, do mono vision where one eye can see far and one eye can see near, but you're sacrificing the distance in one eye to get the near. So, you know, you, that will, uh, you know, lessen your depth perception potentially. Some people don't get adapted to that very easily. So I usually only like doing that if someone's used to monovision from before. Maybe they wore contact lenses uh, before and they had one eye for far and one eye near and they liked it. Then I would consider that as well. If I chose a lens for a family member, which would I choose? I would definitely go to the top of the food chain of either side that that family member wanted. If they wanted max quality, I would use the light adjustable lens. If they wanted the max independence from glasses, I would use the Clarion Panoptics. And so that's what I would do before you have your cataract surgery. Think about what kind of vision you would prefer to have, max quality of vision or max independence from glasses, but a slight decrease in quality. You know, things like uh, halos at night maybe, or 
less quality of vision in low light settings. I hope you found this video helpful. I tried to cover some of the basics. It's not a very in-depth review of any one particular lens. This is just the method in which I decide what kind of lens I'm gonna implant in a patient. And talk to your surgeon about if you're a candidate for any of these lenses before you have surgery. There are a lot of other really good lenses. The Envista Toric lens by Bosch Alam is really good. The Ray1 EMV lens is very good. But as uh, 2022 comes to a close, these lenses are my favorite. What are your favorite lenses? Leave them in the comments below. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to help. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed 2023. Thank you for watching.